All right, yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode two of Stray, the game where we get to play as the cutest cat to have ever been made inside of a video game before. If you missed the last episode, you know where to find the links. They're down there waiting for you. Um, as a quick recap, basically, we got our introduction. Uh, we met Momo. We learned about the outsiders as well as the, I think they're called Zerks, which are basically kind of like the bad guys of this game so far that we can tell oh there they are speak of the devil actually those little things are the things i'm talking about so those are called zerks and uh they're not friendly at all we got our little introduction to those looks like this dude didn't quite make it unfortunately uh but yeah so basically like these guys are kind of the reason why uh this world is in the state that it's in that's our current objective is to make it to that building right there so we're going to try to do that while also avoiding these little dudes as best we can. So, uh, first I have to scratch this rug. It is a must. I have no control over this. None at all. Okay. So, I don't think I can... No, I can't do that. This game is really loud in my ears. I got to turn it down. Okay. Right? Okay, so I, I'm wondering... Okay, meow to attract enemies. Okay, so that got them out of my way. So I could do this. Can they follow me? No, they cannot. Nice. I'm very surprised, actually, because if, you'll, if you've if you seen the last episode, uh, those things, whenever they chase you, they can jump super fucking far, dude. I don't like this noise. So, I believe this is how they breed. This is with this, like, fungus that spreads across these buildings. Or how they reproduce. Oh, I can get over here. Meow. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Well, oh, shit. Okay, they can get to me from here. Get the way. Can they jump on this? They cannot. Stinky. Come over here. So I can go this away. That one is stuck. <laughs> they just, like, face planted into the wall down there. All right, so where's the building? Okay, whoa, whoa, we got super close to that building so fast. I didn't think we would be that close to it. it seemed like we were so far away from it. I, I genuinely kind of baffle myself sometimes when I end up going the right way, genuinely by accident. Oh, we found a memory. From Axel, or for Axel. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums, but people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Yeah, so, like I said, we learned about the outside, uh, which I believe is where our tech, like, our overall goal is, is to make it outside. And by outside, I mean, like, outside all of this. Whoa. Okay, so I can get here now. But how does this help? I can't, there's nowhere else I can go. Oh, I think I can jump onto this again. Oh, look at my 200 IQ big boy brain. All right, so we got another barrel that we can push, and it goes to that. So, I don't know if there's a better way to push the... Can I get inside of it? Oh, my God. I am stupid, actually. Don't even... Don't even worry about what I said a minute ago about my 200 IQ brain, because clearly I'm fucking very much stupid. 
I thought you had to get on top of the barrels repeatedly and jump off of them to kick them and like roll them towards your objective. You can just get inside them. In my defense, I didn't know that. This always scares the shit out of me. I'm just waiting for us to jump on one of these and it break. And then we go falling again, like in the start of the game. Oh no. Okay, they can't get... Are they supposed to jump on the thing? Maybe? Because they can eat metal, right? So they should be able to eat the fence down. Guess not. Right, where the fuck am I supposed to go when I get over there? Oh god, get off! Get off, get off, get off. Oh. Oh, get off, 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 Okay. Uh, I need to rethink strategy. Okay, so there's a barrel that I can run. Can they get me while I'm in the barrel, though, is the question. I have a... Oh, I can just open the door. Haha! <laughs> oh, I can trap them in! Uh, wait. No, I can't. That'll just put them... That'll just put them over here. That's better. Get fucked. All of you. It almost sounded like they were about to break the door down. I was really hoping that that wasn't going to be the case. Okay. Making progress. Oh, we're on an actual, uh, we're on a crane. See you later, stinkies. I, I will say that the, uh, the city has a really cool look and vibe to it. It reminds me very much of Prototype, if you guys have ever seen that game from, like, PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 from Prototype 1 and 2. Uh, really reminiscent of Prototype and how, like, that infection spreads throughout the city. So I wonder if that had any uh, influence on this. Be cool to know. What, why can I jump on that side? I, I hope these don't hatch. Ah, push the board. I love how gingerly we always tap the boards and they just they just fall. It's like they're in perfect balance and we just ever so lightly tap it and then it just goes also look at this pose that i'm striking right now i just want everybody to admire the cat there's like spores in here we're we gonna catch this like the last of us if we breathe too much of it oh we have to like touch it too ew ew i bet it's like all wet and gross and icky um okay oh I was about to say, there is no purpose. Okay, well, they can't hear me from this far, apparently. So there's two sets of you. Um, I can't walk across the fence line right here. So I can, I just have to get to the catwalk right over there, right? Or the scaffolding? I don't know why I keep calling things, like, everything to me is a catwalk in this game because there's a fucking cat. But, uh... I think I just need to get to that scaffolding right over there. And then we should be able to get to the other parts of the scaffolding. I hope. Oh. Okay. So, plan A worked pretty well. They are fucking up those crates over there. I think I pissed them off. Okay. Yep. Come here. Get on this side. There you go. No. Yeah. Get get down! Why the fuck did you stop? He went. He didn't jump. He wouldn't jump off the. What? Apparently, you can kill these things if you glitch them out. 
they self-destruct when they have nowhere to go. But yeah, like, it wouldn't let me jump off of the thing. For some reason. I got stuck. Alright, so... Let's see. Where's the next place to go? Why is this broken like that? There is no reason. Right, so we have to get... You guys are in a cage. So we can lock, we can open you. Like so. Oh shit, get off. Okay. So that's closed now. So we should be able to jump up this scaffolding. And now we can get in here so we can... Oh, I thought they were about to jump the fence then. Where am I supposed to take the barrel? To this? I can just jump on that. Oh, well, I'm supposed to take the barrel outside. Uh-huh. Okay. I see. There's more than one barrel, though. Oh, well, only, only this barrel I can get in, so... Can they see me in the barrel? Oh, I thought it worked for a second. I thought they couldn't see me in the barrel. Okay. So, is there any way I can get back out of here? Yeah. I'm gonna hack the door. I'm gonna get out of here. I want them all to come in here. There you go. Oh no. What have I done? Okay. So I gotta wait for them to flood back in here. Then I have to jump down there. That one just suicided. Then I have to jump down there. And... Close the gate. Then get back up here without dying. Close the gate. Oh! Okay, that didn't work. I was hoping that I could close the gate and then run out. Did they all just die? Almost. Oh, there's hardly any of them left. Hack the door. Okay, let me try this one more again. I mean, if you'll stay over there, that's fine, too. There we go. That works. That's one way to do it. Didn't do that very smoothly, but... Your boy doesn't care. Oh, my goodness. Matter of fact, you know what? Y'all just keep falling. That's fine. I'll allow that. Oh, they get faster. Lol, he ran off the edge. What a noob. Doesn't even know how to play his own game. God, you're so cute. We actually haven't get we haven't given the cat a name yet. Um I'm gonna leave that to you guys in the comments. So if you want to name our our companion here, our cat friend. By all means, do so. Leave a, leave a name suggestion down in the comments, and the one... If I get multiple, then the one that I like the most is the one that I'll choose. If I only get one, then congratulations. That's gonna be the name. Oh. That's a lot of you. Oh. I like the music. Very dramatic. Okay, so I basically just have to run around, right? Because I'm waiting on the elevator. Oh, there is actually a lot. Oh, I don't like it. Get away. Oh, I'm so nimble. Jack me nimble. Jack me quick. 
Let me up. 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 Thank God they can't jump very high. Oh, they're just gonna ride the elevator up with me, though, aren't they? Never mind. They're stupid. I'm gonna perch on this table or stool. It's on the table. Might be. Why is there a stool in an elevator? Are you that lazy? You can't fucking stand? Well, I guess I did choose to fucking sit on it, so I guess I'm the lazy one, huh? Ding! We have arrived. Oh, do I have to... Why? Oh, that's why there's a stool. For convenience of plot. What does it say? No idea. Cannot read that language. Ooh, the music's kind of eerie. Transceiver. Oh, sweet. Oh, we made it to the tower. This is the tower. Okay. I thought we were still technically climbing it. So is that the outside then? Because we're down here and the elevator... We can see the elevator shaft right over there. So technically those lights up there are the outside, right? Or where the outsiders are. Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now, the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights making the her her hermetic roof ceiling of the city. Marking the hermetic roof. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. Oh, okay, never mind. So that city is not the outside. What's the point of the elevator, then? Just to take you to the upper floor of the shell? The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Sweet, so 22% of memory has been unlocked for Axel. That was another thing too that you might have missed in the last episode is that we named B12 Axel. Oh, this is cool. I like this. No, don't load screen this. Why? Why would you do that? You should have just let me enjoy the ride. Look at how cute he is. Don't mind me. Gotta religiously scratch this rug. Scratches an itch in my brain. Outsiders. Where's Momo at? Look, a note! Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent! I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to it is quite simple. Yep, so I just screenshotted that in my mind, and I won't have to reread it ever again. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Very well. Uh... So we're going to the bar, right? That's what it said. Yeah, the bar. Okay. Uh, use B12. Here's the lock for the window. The code was, uh, it was an H, I think. Error, wrong key. Whoops, my bad. Let's try that again. Uh, 
And then it was, oh, or was it a zero? Let's see. Success! Look at you, Axel. It worked. Why is the, why do you have a a passcode to unlock your window? Mama's at the bar waiting for us. Shouldn't that fucking unlock your door? Doesn't that make a thousand times more sense? Also, the city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There's a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If my if I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. Oh. So where is the bar at? Oh, I think I know where the bar is at, actually. Uh, we've been to the bar once upon a time. So we haven't found any more sheet music yet, which is unfortunate. I don't think, anyways. So we can't give to the dude sitting out front. Yeah, so the bar is right here. Oh, hey, there's Momo. I didn't even notice you. Hey, little furball. Come here, I managed to get a signal. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, what the fuck? That's a big screen. Oh, he was like, he's like, come here, sit. Oh, he's, he gave me pats. I'm forever in love with you, Momo. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Oh, the fucking old Dell dial-up sounds. I've almost got it. Just bear with me. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out, and... Wait, is that you, Balthazar? Momo? I... I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Balthazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes. We are... We are safe. We found a way up. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it! We've lost the signal. Gosh dang it. Flabnabbit. I can't believe it. Balthazar is alive. He and the outside he, he and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but the Balthazar made it. If God is a fucking hard name to say, I'm sorry. If Balthazar made it, there must be a way. Yeah, I'm the way. I know the way. Seamus. Seamus? Seamus. Yes. Okay. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make you a they'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past, it doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. Hmm. Same as his father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Saint, sh how the f that is harder to work to say than Balthazar. Sh 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 I I'm having a fucking stroke. Say, I can't do it. I can't fucking do it. Seamus, oh my fucking god, thank you. Has never been the same s since. Oh my god, uh, this is getting scary. <laughs> Seamus. Seamus. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Very well, lead the way, Momo. It's very weird to call you Momo. Because in my mind, Momo is not a robot. It is a small lemur. Big-eared flying lemur. Can you... Can you speed up? I would kind of prefer if you were a flying lemur at this point. You're still cleaning up the paint. 
I'm cleaning the ports of my shop again. Stop playing over the shop, you clumsy rascal. What the fuck? Yeah, darn rascals. Darn tootin' kids. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Just kick the door open. Well, that was to be expected. The situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you? I think I have an idea. See, I'm glad that you're the brains in this operation, Momo. Well, look at you, knowing all the secrets. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. Nice, new item gained. It's not new, we had it before. It contains a lot of information that will hope that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others. Very well, Momo. I will serve you proudly. I will not let you down. Dear God. Why well, don't have a non-flashback on me? What are you doing here? I told you. Getting through the sewers of suicide mission. Leave me be. What's this? Wait. Is this my papa's? Oh, wow. I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat. But where? Huh. A secret room, you say? Oh. Oh! Don't do that. Fucking jump scared me. Time will tell. Okay, so it's behind a clock. Oh! Alright, so we gotta find a clock. Ah, I see. How do I get the clock down? Where time will tell. That is a... F Why does the clock go to 16? Uh, so it's 16... It's 16... 10? <laughs> what is 16, 10? 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so that's 5. It's like 5 or 6 o'clock. I don't know which. I think it's 6. 6, 10, right? <laughs> Time will tell. That's some kind of clue. Prob yeah, I mean, obviously. We figured that out already. Seamus, you're... Oh, you're lagging behind there, bud. I'm kind of worried about your capable, if you're capable for this mission or not. You might want to just go ahead, sit sit back down, take a nap. I'll, but before you do that, take the fucking clock off the wall just so I can see something. Uh, so can I knock more pictures down? Yes. Okay, so maybe I don't have all of the clues. I love how we jump every time. Also, more RAM on the table. Oh! Ah. Okay, so yeah. So if it's... Do we put 1610 or do we put 610? I'm putting 510 because I, I, I'm second guessing myself. Well, no, never mind. Okay. So. Okay, well, there is no zero. Fuck. Time will tell. The blue clock is on a different time. Because the blue clock's little hand is on two. Sorry, my webcam, or my face cam was probably blocking that. But the blue clock is facing at 16-2. The red clock and the two clock... Oh, never mind. They're all at different ones. Okay, so 2 five, one, one, right? Two... Can you fucking not... Ah, okay. Big brain. Move out my way, ho! Oh, whoa, he's got, like, samples of, uh, the Zerks in here. Look at that. I wonder how he preserved them, considering that they self-destruct. I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me for all this time. These blueprints. What the fuck is going on with your head? They must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive about with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real-life test. 
He went outside the slums and he never came back. Robots news headlines. Zerks are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. So they evolved. Nice. That's what you love to hear. Observations. Cute sounds. Can you fucking not? Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eat all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to intense light. Okay, so, uh, basically what just happened is my hard drive filled up. So, and it didn't tell me that, you know, the recording for the game stopped. It didn't tell me that my hard drive was full until the recording for my webcam decided that it was full. So, yeah, basically we lost a couple of minutes worth of gameplay there from the time that we were, uh, talking to Seamus inside of the lab so we found the i don't know if you guys saw or not but we found a tracker we tracked down this guy not with the tracker the tracker's broken and we brought it to this guy whose name is elliot and uh he's gonna fix the tracker for us but we have to find him a blanket because he's cold so sorry about that about us uh missing out on some of that gameplay i'll try to make sure that that doesn't happen again hopefully I don't know, I had to delete a bunch of stuff off of my hard drive to give me a couple more gigs worth of uh, recording space, so. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. It's what the humans would have wanted. I see. Okay, so yeah, humans are basically just non-existent then. Oh, we have to go outside to find him a blanket, really? Oh wait, I think I know where to go to blanket. <coughs> These guys have to have a spare blanket, right? I didn't want to do that, you stoop. There we go. You look lost. What do you need? Oh, how the fuck am I supposed to tell him that I need a blanket? There was like a little thing somewhere around here that just had a bunch of signs posted up on it. Who are you? Are you the barter man? Ooh. Oh my god, I fucking tripped him! <laughs> what the fuck? He tripped over me. Are you okay? I didn't even fucking mind. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa. Okay, well, I need somebody to fucking lend me a blanket, my guy. Shit. I don't even remember where the fuck uh, the dude with the tracker is. Yes, I do. Never mind. So maybe it's in his apartment. Okay, right here. Barter man is first. Right? Yeah, so barter man's this way. What the fuck are you talking- Are you the barter man? Or are you just lead me on a fucking wild goose chase? No, you're the barter man. Hello, I'm the merchant of the market. You give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's as simple as that. This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. It'll cost you three energy drink cans. I can't do less. Is that a blanket? Because if it is, then I'll fucking... I'll go pick up three energy drink cans. I can't imagine that that would be very difficult to get a hold of. Unless it is incredibly difficult to get a hold of. And then in which case, I will probably just steal it from you. We're fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zerks. The slums have... Has its threats and... Preparation is key. Very well. So... There's a basketball. I still can't get over the fact that we tripped that fucking dude. Oh my fucking god, you're joking. It's actually on a roof. Why? Why is there a goddamn drink machine on a roof? 
Who the fuck put that there? How did it get up here? There's no fucking way that you just carried it up multiple stories. Jesus Christ. All right, let me down. Okay, so where are we going from here? So we're going this way, past the dude who fucking likes to at us. Okay. So now will you accept the cans? Yes, I know what it is. You've told me every time I come over here. Thank you, God. There you go. Appreciate it. I did all of that for just a memory. It didn't even give me... I had a sneaking suspicion that that was what that was going to be. This is an early model of a companion. Back then, they didn't have any personality. They were just glorified autonomous cleaners. I think it's nice they eventually mimicked humans. It's like they missed them. And in a way, they kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. Yeah, you know, you'd be better robots if you gave me a fucking blanket. Where the fuck? I don't, I'm so fucking lost. Where? Who am I, dude? I've done so much random shit in the past 20 minutes that I don't know where the fuck or what the fuck we're doing. Okay. So let me backtrack. We're trying to fix a tracker. We have to get him a blanket. Where's the dude with the fucking blanket? You. It's right here. We gotta scratch the door, you'll open it. Then we walk in. Is there a fucking blanket in here? Please tell me there is a fucking blanket in here. A blanket that is specifically designed for fucking. You have multiple beds, but no blanket. Why? I'm just so fucking confused. The poncho is a fucking blanket? Look. No tremors. I'm able to work again. Yeah. Yeah, you sure are, bud. You really, you just really fucking are, aren't you? Thanks. Now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just got to give it an update. And, uh, one more thing. Voila. Fixed tracker. Gained a new item. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you are looking for. Thank you, Elliot, for sending me on a wild goose chase for a blanket when all you needed was a fucking poncho. I'll remember this, Elliot. Matter of fact, I want you to decipher this code for me since you wasted my fucking time. I need to calibra calibrate my lenses here. It means duffer bar. Strange. Who gives... Rendezvous... What? Rendez... Rendezvous... I don't know how to read. Via binary code. Rendezvous. There you go. Aha. Via binary code. It takes me a minute, but I'll get there. Duffer bar. What the fuck? Who the fuck cares? Just tell me the guy. Elliot... I, it's getting so hard to not just like grab one of these bottles off of the fucking floor and just swing it full force into the back of your head. I'm sure that you're a great person, 
robot Elliot, but you just I... Oh, come on do it again do it again <laughs> Oh, he didn't fall that time you fuck he learned you bastard. I wanted him to fa fucking face plan again Okay, so now we're going back to Seamus. Where's Seamus? Where is Seamus? Where is Seamus? So... Where... Where... Is Seamus? Off on another fucking goose chunt. Goose hunt we go. Chunt. That's it. Goose chunt. Get the fuck down. Okay, so he's not in that way. Well, yeah, no, he's not in there. Not that way. Not this way. Shamos! There he is. Hey, you sat down. Look at you. Did you manage to fix that tracker? I did. You did it! You fixed it! Well done! Give it here. All right, calm your horses. Don't break it. Snatching shit for me. <laughs> we got a ping. Nice. Is it 30 milliseconds or less? Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where Papa went. How am I supposed to follow the tracker? If I, I swear to God, if I have to walk behind you the whole time. Can I trip you? Oh, he just walks through me. I would have genuinely lost my shit if I could trip him too. Well, in the meantime, at least we get to vibe to some strange alternative music. And I'll push this bucket around too, why not? I've made it my new objective to bring this bucket with me. Oh, this is gonna be much harder than I thought. Bucket, bucket, please. Bucket, please. Fucking cooperate. Thank you, bucket. Bucket. Bucket! Bucket, bucket, listen. But please. But god damn it. You're gonna make me so fucking mad. Just get up the goddamn staircase. Oh. Oh, put the fucking bucket on your head or something, dude. I don't know. Yeah, well, you almost fucking had it. I'm determined. This bucket's coming with me. Why? Why are you fucking so physics-based? Just be less physics-based for fucking 30 seconds. Please. Pl oh, my fucking God. Fuck the bucket. You know what? Who needs buckets anyways? Buckets ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Why can I press Y on your foot? This must be it. He really left the slums. It's da uh, I broke the game. It's dangerous out there. I must... But I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Well... Oh, I was about to go to sleep, I think. Because I was next to the fire, so I guess it was cozy. I was kind of hoping that I would, like, swat at his leg or something like that and freak him out. Ooh. So am I going to have to make it safe and, like, trap them if I see any of them in order so that way he can come along also? It's going to be a protection mission. Escort. Escort the payload. I like this, your little footstep sounds. Look at these Zerg eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zergs will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a friend. Outsider badge. Oh, sweet. I'll open the door for you. Very well. You do that, Seamus. Your bravery will be remembered as cowardice.
Whoa. Okay. So there's a memory down here. I'm still upset about the fact that he needed a fucking poncho and not a blanket. Look at how huge this wall is. I remember it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. Oh, okay. So basically the reason why there's an upper stage to the fucking city and a lower stage to the city is because the upper class robots lived in the fucking on the upper class part of the city. Makes sense. That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Or the real people. I guess that's where the humans were. They threw their garbage down here because they just didn't care about the robots. I don't know. Kind of seems like a little, like, eye robot sort of thing. Dead end. Very ominous. Oh, sweet. Get the fuck away from me. Hoop! No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 Get off me. Jump, 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 run, 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 run. Oh, hello. And goodbye. Jump. Good job, good job, jump. No, no, jump, 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 jump. Please get away, please get away, please get away. Stop it. I need a fucking spray bottle for these dudes. Oh my god, I don't know where to go. Oh, I needed to go underneath. Oh, I figured it out, big boy brain. Uh-oh. Get juked. Next time, keep up. What the fuck is the purpose? Oh, I see. So we gotta do this. And then I do that. Nice. Oh, oh, we're going for a ride. Oh, get, oh, oh, I can. I think I. No, I can't steer it. Never mind. Nice. We killed a bunch of them. Ooh, that's a sprained leg. Axel, are you okay? Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We sh uh, we must be close. Yep, yep. We sprung our ankle again. Our back leg. Dude, that back leg is just taking some abuse. Thank God we heal like Wolverine. All we gotta do is lick our leg a few times and we're just we're just completely better. God, the, uh, I really love the climbing in this game, like the platforming. What the fuck is the point? Oh, I have to go here, and then I can jump there. Okay. Um, any secrets down here? Yes, sir. Oh, hello. Memory. Sweet child of mine. I love how, like, happy he gets. He does, like, a little happy dance when he remembers something. The scientist I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little cottage, fishing all day long. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city, and nobody could have done that for at least a hundred years. When we get to this outside, what if we found ourselves a little cottage like a harmless fishing rod? With a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books. I think that's what the scientist would have wanted. But first, we should go find Doc. 44% memory recovery. So I wonder what the whole, like, the big story with Axel is going to be. Whenever we unlock his full memory. Any more Zerks present? Front and center. Whoa, frame lag. Basketball. There's a lot of motion blur on that basketball. I think it just turns into... A just a, a gobbled mess whenever it spins around. Okay, so... Where where exactly is our objective? I think we're just exploring right now. Until we run into Doc, right? 
Doc Brown. What is this? I see. So... Huh. It's an electric generator, but it seems to require some other part to function. Are those not the plug-ins that we've been, like, taking in and out to? So do I have to find fucking eight of those to plug into it? I hope not. That's a lot to have to bring back and forth. Can I get another drink from you? Of course not. Okay. Hello, housekeeping! What is that noise? Oh, oh, Doc is in here. For sure, right? Why is there a, f there's a fucking kitchen knife up here. Doc! I knew I heard you snoring. Oh shit, goddamn. Sorry. Whoa! Wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer. But it didn't go as planned. Yeah, you're definitely uh, a uh, Back to the Future reference. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. <laughs> I scared the fuck out of you, dog. Don't even pretend like I didn't. There's a memory. I've, s I've seen humans wear costumes like this. I, I don't think any, any human has ever wore anything similar to that. They were small and running around, making lots of noise. Oh, you're talking about Halloween. Oh yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Sa Seamus. Is that the same thing? Probably. Ah, uh, I see the old water bucket. With the leak in the bottom of it, apparently. Because it doesn't seem to actually be catching the water. Don't mind me uh, while I take off your fucking... Your wallpaper. You don't need it anyways, right, Seamus? I mean, Doc? Ooh. Hey, be careful with that defluxer. At full charge, it can explode zerks like confetti. This baby needs 1.21 gigawatts. 1.21 gigawatts to work. And the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew. And with all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what, you, I'll show you what to do. Come on, Marty. I've, I gotta show you what to do real fast. Oh, Doc. This is getting heavy. Yeah, calm your tits. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Well, that's good to know. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, it should be able to charge the kickstart and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow this cable. Change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Didn't listen. To, I didn't listen to a word I read. Um, follow the cable, and then from there I'm lost. Oh, he gave us the fuse, right? Okay, so we just have to put it in the little slot that we saw. Ta-da! As if like magic. Oh, look at you. 
You go, Doc. Oh. Oh, so does it use, like, some kind of cool, like, UV light? Oh, God. Oh, get away, 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 get off, get off, get off, get off. Oh my god, it is blood red. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I don't know how I made it through that, but okay. Way to go, Doc! It's your kids, Marty! There's gotta be something done about your kids! Amazing, you got the generator back on. Look at him fucking... I like, I like how he's just like, constantly fucking... Ah! <laughs> Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. <gasps> Please do. Oh, look at you go. Fucking zip zap. Better not hurt Axel. Yeah, so there's a recharge bar now, naturally. It worked. The defluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Nice. So we got Doc Brown back with us again. So how do we use you? Fair enough. Did I not? It sounds like there's some on the outside of the fucking wall. Oh, there. No, well, there is, technically. Hasta la vista! Take out all those zerks so we can get through. I'm way ahead of you, Doc. You need to be a bit more observant. Wow, it's working great! But as I expected, it can overheat. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it'll last until we reach the village. Well, we'll see. Depends on how good I am at, uh, making sure it doesn't overheat. How observant I'll be to its... The amount of heat it has? Words, sentences are difficult, okay? Leave me alone. Leave me be. The switch doesn't work. Looks like the electricity has been cut. Almost like, you know, we just had a generator that we had to turn on for a specific purpose of giving electricity to things. There must be a way to open that door. Yeah, maybe fucking pick it up with your robot arms. I don't know. You know, I'm just spitballing here, though. Don't worry about my fucking advice. So, there's a barrel that I can roll around, but for what? Okay, so you get the fuck out of the way. And then you come hither. I don't know how far I'm supposed to roll you. Can I get on top of this? That's a negative. Oh, I see. Okay, so there's a vent open. Sweet. Oh, that's bright. Ooh, that was a cool noise. Pull the lever. It won't let me. I physically cannot. There we go. Damn it. Ooh, you guys pop like popcorn. Like, like big zits. Okay. So, we should be able to hit this button, right? And it'll work. Well, how convenient. Oh, hey, oh shit. Run, Doc, run. Oh shit. Ah, uh, Doc, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we're dead. 
I can't. I can't do it, Doc. Stomp on him. Damn, make yourself useful, man. Don't make me do all the fucking work. You got those badass goggles on your head. Might as well fucking do something. Phew, that was close. Let's go back home. Yeah, that was close. You're right. You almost fucking died. It would have been all my fault, too. And I wouldn't have felt even slightly bad about it. There you go. Damn, that took you. It's like he had to process how to press that button in his head. Honestly, I can't even process what the fuck I'm about to say half the time in my own head, so I, I can't blame him for having to take that long to press a button. There you go. Open sesame. You're almost there. I'd have lost my shit if you fell through. Oh. Nice little jump cut. Seamus, it's your father. Oh, the fucking the heart. That's so cute. Nice little family reunion. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Sweet. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. Cool. Okay, so Teddy, Billy... Rosie? Oh, Rosie actually come out from his little fucking decrepit little place that he was watching TV at. Momo! You look different. You uh, you dressed for the occasion. Oh, you're not Momo. You're Benzu. Momo is waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but have you done everything you wanted in here? Oh, okay. So is this going to be the last time we come to the slums? Because I'll close the door behind you. Don't want any Zerks coming through. Have I done everything I want to? I think so. I mean, let me give this dude what's left of my, uh, what, what I've got on me of music. Oh, fuck. My bad. Untitled. This tune contains exactly 44 notes. Very well. Let's see what you got. Moving on. Yeah, you, you need to practice, bud. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Mildly important information. This one was composed by a renowned algorithm. Is that right? Is that not... I'm pretty sure that's the same unknown that he just played. But he's playing it better now. Because those really high notes... I'm pretty sure is like the same rhythm. Is it not? Okay. That's all I wanted to do. Okay, so I don't think I actually have to talk to you. I think I just have to go on. Onward and upward, I always say. No going back now. Momo! My friend! Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me join you. I can't believe you found Doc and got the defluxer with defluxer. With this, now we can go and find Balthazar. Let's go. Onward. We shall travel. I love your little flamingo shirt.
the sewers. Oh, so we can already see some zerks lurking in the top of that sewer right there. The sewer drain. So can we talk to you while you do this? This place is creepy. Yeah, a little bit. It's kind of cool looking though, I like it. That is a very yellow light. Jesus. I wish that... Is there a button that we can press specifically to set down? If you want to get to these other folks, yeah. Times like these, I'm happy to have no sense of smell. Oh man, this cat must be just rolling in it right now. I would imagine that like pretty much everywhere we've been to probably stinks pretty bad. Regardless of what actually compo like composes the stink. Because the slums didn't look like the cleanest place in the world. Hey, 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 there's a gate here, man. Jesus. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to go through. Uh... Okay. So I gotta lift this gate open for him. Some fucking how. I don't like those really big bulges down there. That's a nice boulder. Oh. Yeah, I don't like that. How do I turn on the thing again? Oh. Let me just go ahead and get rid of these just so I don't have to worry about them. Ah! That almost got me. Okay. So now we can get rid of you. I keep pressing the, the wrong button to get rid of that. So can we get in this? Of course not. They didn't think about that. Where? Oh, there's a lever. <laughs> of course there is. Come on in, Momo. Well, I, I guess uh, this isn't our stop, so. Oh, nice. There we go. Now we sat down. That's what I wanted to do earlier. I keep, like, pulling him out to try to do this. But, like, different buttons on the D-pad do different things for him. So, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Oh, look at them up there. There's three of them. On the, that, that technically is a catwalk, so... On the catwalk. Okay, so there is a range. It's a bright red panel over there. This place is cool looking. I like this place. It's a nice, nice change of scenery. The slums was cool and all, but like it was very crowded. I don't really like stuff like that. I was kind of like claustrophobic in a lot of the places. Like, mentally I was claustrophobic, if that makes sense. Momo. All this old machinery is broken now. I think we can only open it manually. Okay. Well, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching episode two of Stray. I've been having a lot of fun with this game, and I hope that you are having a lot of fun watching it, or if you're playing it yourself also. I really do appreciate you guys watching this video for me, and if you will, 
please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm going to be posting all of this game all the way through, so if you want to keep up to date with future uploads, go ahead and hit that bell notification as well, and that'll give you uh, upload notifications from me for any time that I post in the future. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me. So if you want to see the next episode, make sure that you tune in tomorrow, and hopefully the next episode will be out by the time that you check in on the channel again. And uh, yeah, guys, my name is Silent, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, stay safe, and as always, I'll see you later. Peace out.